all right happy sunday guys um it's a beautiful day it's not raining so today i'm gonna head over to my friend's house he's not here but um i need to go and fix his evo 5. oh can i get it can i get the light can i get the light uh, yes i made it and uh, I have to change his radiator, his old radiator. I don't know if it's an aftermarket or the one that's in the car now. It might be, it might be, I'm not sure, but it broke basically. I punched a hole in it. So he has a new one. I'm gonna go swap that out real quick. But first, I need to stop at one of my favorite places. Uh, go ahead and top that off. A little sports drink it's not as hot right now today but not extremely hot because it's early in the morning still here in beautiful japan boom here goes my friend's evil five so good looking so pretty so a little dirty right now all the rain we had a lot of rain recently so nothing too fancy <clears throat> he did get new coil packs this whole bracket and everything. I haven't seen it yet, it looks really good though. Give it a better spark. So we gotta, so this is the stock radiator. I guess it broke here, so we need to get rid of this. Later on, we need to change this. So we're gonna swap this radiator out for this beautiful Blitz Rad. I'm not sure if he has coolant here. If anything, we need to go pick some up. So I'm in stock turbo. The engine was rebuilt from the previous shop that it was at. Um, I think it's a running stock boost for now. Not bad. It's a nice little car. It's really, really clean. I mean, not right now, but Carlos in it. This actually has a swapped uh, six-speed transmission in it. So that's pretty cool. Runs really nice and it's pretty quick. So later, once we're done with the, once we finish with the radiator, we'll go and um, take it for a drive and make sure that everything is good and not overheating. I'm gonna get rid of this cap. This is garbage. Cool, and let's get started. We got a busy day today. So I'm gonna get this running. And then he's gone for now. So uh, I'm gonna have the car nice and clean. I also do detailing, so if anybody wants um, detailing, like professional detailing, you know, inside and out, um, you know, the whole thing for the car, let me know. Um, you can hit me up on IG, uh, Butcher uh, Style Racing 88, and um, yeah, so I do stuff like that. I am I am a certified I am a certified mechanic, so I am a technician. Um, for many, 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 many years. Um, so yeah, so let's get started on this. Should be pretty quick. Let's go. Alright, so what's in our pretty pretty box? Have a regular radiator cap with the cool little metal blitz emblem there. Another don't touch when hot uh, blitz racing radiator. Little nice metal logo there. I'm not sure how much this radiator was, but maybe when he comes back, I'll ask him. We need to protection first. Got to put the rubber on, you know. Rubber.
got the radiator out. Just gonna do a quick inspection on here. Make sure that isn't anything crazy happening on here. Make sure the holes for the actuator is nice and tight. Okay. Now a few months back, um, I came over to kind of get rid of some stuff that was like crazy. Most evil guys, what they do is they do a battery relocation. And basically the battery originally was over here, so they move it and swap it and then mount it over there and then they bring the intake directly into here, which is pretty cool, I guess. All right, cool. Let's get this radiator. Let's uh, mount the fan, which is not a big deal. We just kind of slide it in basically. A nice little cool drain plug. That's pretty cool. Okay. Looks good to me. Always inspect the radiator when you get one because you never know. Just make sure the fins are all good. Make sure you don't say anything too crazy. Let's go ahead and put this fan in there. I'm gonna give it a little quick wash. I am gonna run some water in this real quick. Just give it a little quick flush. I don't see any coolant here. Well, actually, I think this is the coolant here. I forgot, they come in like these detergent looking bags. So in Japan, it's with the like detergent, like, you know, to wash clothes. Everything is like recyclable here in Japan, right? So, I remember the first, first time I went looking for, I remember the first time I went looking for uh, coolant for the car. I'm like, uh, yeah, I can't find any coolant here in the store. It's kind of weird lady comes over she's like oh it's this i'm like i just start laughing she's wondering why i'm laughing i'm like you sure this isn't detergent for to wash clothes she starts cracking up but that's what they look like and so this is what they come in Stopped over to the good uh, water box. Picked up some more laundry detergent, aka coolant. Gonna go ahead and toss these in here. But there's a there's a place I want to go to. It's right here. So I used to be a mix for about 15, 16 years or something like that. And right next door. There's a skate park and this is here in town. It's got to have this little skate park. Um, it's a concrete one. I'm just gonna walk over there. So right now they are you know, you know it's the weekend, so it's like really lively out here, which I love. But um they're actually setting up a competition for um like a BMX competition. So like in America, um you know, you know, we have the X Games and stuff like, and, you know, BMX and skateboarding. 
have always been on you know on tv it's always held at like competitions and stuff like that right so like x games and stuff right and like there are a lot of good bmx riders like all over the world you know like literally all over the world chile and australia spain out in europe and stuff like that some crazy bmx riders but japan i think just last year uh had i'm pretty sure pretty sure it was last year last year they had their first like you know kind of kind of x games for uh bmx so that's really cool oh, that's a cool little mini and i love mini coopers i'm gonna try and buy myself another one i used to have an o3 like that but a supercharged six speed i love that thing so that's what it looks like right now got all these so i don't live too far from here and i don't work too far from here as well and this is actually the road that i take to work um back and forth so god police police looking at me anyways so this is the exhibit i guess you have to pay to get in here i'm not sure but they're setting up for competition i don't know if they i don't know if it's today 722 so i already started on the 22nd so for this weekend actually now i do ride now it's been a couple years since i really like rode like hardcore but um they really have this whole block this whole thing blocked off so um which is pretty cool right because usually when i come here like bmx has been a big part of my life and um it's a passion and it's, it's one of those things like for me like we're cars right i grew up riding bike so i would always like when i when i when i would travel to japan when i would travel to japan and when i like when i didn't live here i would always like visit certain places and this would be one of them where i would just come and relax and watch the kids um skateboard and ride now i normally never i normally don't really see that many riders here um just because like i said bmx is not like a super big thing in japan it's, it's slightly growing you know it's starting to there's a lot of good riders in japan don't get me wrong but like it's not like as big as it is i feel like anywhere else in the world Let's look at this uh this srt right here Ooh. Ooh. all right anyways I still got it, bro. I've been I've been riding for I've been riding for a long time, bro. Like, I, you know, I grew up on the East Coast, uh, New Jersey, where I'm from, and you know, we did a lot of hardcore street. I, I'm pretty sure that's free. Uh, for, I'm pretty sure that's like, uh, uh like freestyle, um, where people ride and uh, they'll do like these cool tricks on the bike. So this one thing I've never been good at is doing this style of BMX. So. Okay, kid. Fall and you get up. That's a girl, actually. So this is like flat, like flat landing. Freestyling, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, girl, girls riding. And then over here they have um, like a dirt trail, which is pretty cool. Now this normally isn't here. This is this is not here. The black ramps and stuff like that is not here. Um, I do have my BMX bike. I've been wanting to bring it actually to Japan, um, but I don't know. At the same time, like I really want to bring it, but at the same time I want to just build another one. Uh, I won't do like crazy hardcore tricks like I used to do like you know doing 720s you know on the half pipe and stuff like that and tail whips and I do a lot of air tricks for like no handers and no footers and stuff like that I just I, not that I'm old but you know after a while you know you fall you get hurt and you don't want to I, I got tired of you know coming to work limping and stuff like that because you know it hurts man you know and work is more important um well it's just as important i won't say it's more important but it's as important 
but yeah and these are these are these are pretty big uh like that was a little kid that just did that pipe right there man it's like awesome i guess i guess i'll walk the correct way because too many popos around here you know what i'm saying yeah. what you looking at anyways yeah they all over just cool i'm not sure you have the bait to get in but yeah so over there there's like a little water um kind of like a water pyramid and all the kids and adults just people just go over there and kind of get in there which is great to do on a day like this because it's really hot and sunny i think yesterday was much 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 hotter than it is today um today we kind of have a nice little breeze so that little island over there is called monkey island you can go over there which um i think uh over there somewhere over there is where the place is at where you buy a ticket it's like way down there somewhere maybe over there you buy the ticket and then you can the ferry kind of like takes you over there I've, ne I've actually never been over there not yet in all these years i've been here in japan i've never gone over there so but yeah so this is what it looks like it's pretty cool right um you can't swim here it's a lot of rocks i wouldn't want to swim here anyways uh it's not really the cleanest water like here because like i think the uh, the military base is over there right so they have a lot of ships that just kind of travel in and out through here chiba is over there anyways let's get going let's get going and let's um finish topping off the evil five with some coolant and then we are going to take it out for a drive all right back to the cp9 let's turn old girl on real quick what's up girl So we're gonna change this to uh, put the heat on. Let's turn her on real quick. Oh no, the battery's dead. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna jump it. All right, got some jumping cables. Bow. There we go. like a hinge which I think it does haha -ha. yeah. connect it to this Bing. I'll sit that there for a second all right we connect it let's try one more game
right, well, she's good to go. She runs beautiful. Sounds really good too. The new test pipe. Yeah, and I think maybe, maybe this weekend I'll clean her up and give her a full detail. No leaks, no issues. Man, this thing looks good. I need a, I need an Evo. I do want an Evo. Evo's on my list. But maybe like a seven or a maybe an MR. I like the MRs. MR8. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, well, I hope you like this video. And um, it's hot, so maybe I'm gonna go down to the beach. Alright man. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Till next time.